I have a Savox servo here. This is a low profile, high voltage SV uh, 1254 MG. Now, Savox, the last two letters will tell you the type of gear. So, this is MG, which means metal gears. So, you're going to get some brass and steel. And that's sort of the downside. If you put this on something other than, say, a touring car or a buggy, you're probably going to destroy uh, those gears. And that's what happened here. So there's a crunchy sound uh, and now I need to rebuild it. So take a Phillips number one, do not use a Phillips number two. If you use a Phillips number two, you're going to destroy uh, the screws. Now these screws had already, just to save time, backed them out uh, just a little way to make this part a little faster. But uh, you just remove these four screws and this will come apart. Now the plate that you want to take off is actually this top portion. So this will come out. And so it'll give you access to all the gears. Now uh, you want to check, make sure there's no teeth or anything here on this part. Sometimes you'll get things that will stick because of the grease. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little inspection. Everything looks, oh, there's a little piece. And the reason why is jumps, hits, you don't want that to fall inside. That is the reason why. Now I will go ahead and open this. Now this is the SG-SV-1254MG kit. And this is the rebuild kit. I'll go ahead and open this, just set them on here. <clears throat> and uh, you do get a new bearing, which is actually really nice. So this is reassembled. Uh, if you ever buy the gears for Traxxas vehicles, uh, they do not come with a bearing. You have to assemble everything. So this is actually quite nice. It has both bearings. Uh, so that is good. Uh, every gear, let's see, these are packaged separately. So you don't have to replace them all, but might as well. And that has all the pins. So we will have that. Now here, uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Not sure if the camera picks it up, but I'm missing a tooth right here. Therefore, let's see. I'll go ahead and just replace all five of them. I'll go ahead and take this one out. Okay, yeah, these teeth, I'm missing the tips of these teeth. Uh, so that's one of the problems. So it's usually the brass gears that you're gonna end up breaking. If you need something for uh, higher stress, go with the SG, which are steel gears. You can also get the TGs, but TGs, that's titanium gears. They will still break. Uh, steel gears, I think, are the better ones. But I'm, I'm going to bring this closer, see if the camera will zoom in. I'm not sure if you can see, but the tip of that tooth is missing. That's one of the things that happened. All right, so that gear would be this one. Let's inspect this one. Right here, that tooth is damaged. All right. And that's this gear. This one, this one looks all right. Still replacing it though. That's this gear. And no, this one doesn't want to come out. Oh, I see it's stuck in the bearing.
And here's the other gear. So this one is missing a full tooth right there. Uh, and again, it's the brass gears are the gears that are damaged. All right, so this one just pull out. Uh, oops, sorry, I was off camera. So this just pulls out. Uh, you may need to pry it or even grab some pliers here and pull it out. Uh, this one looks damaged as well. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So right here, I'm missing, let me go back on camera. See, I'm missing those gears there, those teeth. So th yeah, these gears are completely destroyed. Uh, now I just have to inspect everything. I can go ahead and replace these as well. Sometimes they damage. Uh, let's see, I'll replace them one by one in a bit. Uh, well, they're all different sizes. So we'll take that large one, place it here as the medium, place it there. And I'm gonna need some pliers for this one. That's a small short one and then a small thin one. All right, and this is it. Now there's a different type of grease that is used. I'm not sure if this is black grease or what this is. I'm gonna use a silicone based grease We'll see how that one holds. So I'm trying to get rid of, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some filings. That's actually part of a tooth. So you wanna get rid of all of that. Uh, Cause that can destroy your other gears. Here we go. All right. Everything is clean now. Great. So now I can begin using my new gears. Uh, so the first one that's gonna go in uh, will be this one. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Let's put all the gears over there. So I can get the pins out. And I'm actually going to stick the pins in first. Trash can go over there. All right. So the large one, this long one goes here. And then we have the medium length, which will go over here. Now we have this short little thin one, which will go right there. And then the short thicker one will go right here. Now the nice thing about this, I will show you shortly with gears, Keep slipping. You may want to use some pliers. Uh, so the motor's right here, it has a magnet, and that's the reason why I'm struggling. Or at least that's my excuse. So all of them are in place now. So this is one of the nice things. So if I were to grab a gear, whatever gear, uh, and let's just say I want to place it here. See, it goes in there perfectly. It's not going to go in here. Over here, it's going to fit loose. And over here, actually this one fits because these are both the same. Uh, but you're not going to be able to make a mistake between these. Let's see. Ah, uh, see, this one has a little bit of play. So just by that, you're going to go, no, this one goes there. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and install that one yet. I'm going to get all the gears out. This isn't working. There we go. And the next one. Now the reason why I'm choosing to go with a silicone based grease instead of black grease is because black grease tends to uh, become tacky over time. All right, so see, that's your big one. All right, uh, 
Now, this one, we'll go ahead. This little tab is gonna go off to the side out here, so you wanna make sure this tab is toward the cable. Now, notice this is, this keys in right in here, so that's an important thing to note. All right, so that's at the outermost limit, perfect. So I'm gonna line this up with the wire as well. Now that it's lined up with the wire, can't think to manage, there we go. Now these, let me do it again. So I'm gonna put this in the bearing in here. The, the easiest way to go about this is to be honest, to not install that shaft yet until after. This is generally where I'm stubborn. All right, I'm gonna to have to do it that way. So this one's the challenging part. All right, so let me go ahead Outermost limit, outermost limit, perfect, centered. And see the key there. That lines up, this has to go toward the cable. Here we go. All right. Now I can go ahead and grab this. And you can start applying grease now. I uh, don't have to wait until everything's assembled. So you can go ahead and just dab a little bit of that grease whatever grease that you're using. Now I can drop this in and I can grab that pin. And that is it. And the reason why this is the easiest way is because the bearing gets in the way. So it's, it's easier for you to put the gear and then drop the pin in because that'll be in the way. All right, now we can go with the other gears. So we have these gears right here I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little crease on everything. There we go. And the last one. All right. Now if you remember, these gears are gonna key in, so if you forget, uh, this one's gonna be too loose, all right? That's the example. And then this one is gonna fit just right. The other thing too is use the two gears that you're not replacing. Well, you're not replacing this and you're not replacing the little plastic bit. So that'll sort of help you guide where the rest of the gears go. The other thing too that you can look at is how coarse these gears are. So this one, notice this one's very coarse. The We're looking at the steel portion compared to this one. So this one is not going to fit here because these are coarse teeth as well. So the pitch is a coarser pitch. So you know this one's going to have to go over here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. There we go. And now I can grab the last one, and the last one is going to mate to this one and that one. Right in there. And that is it. Notice how smoothly everything is operating, and I should be hitting the limit soon. Should have hit the limit. Just double check everything. There it is. And there it is. The interesting thing is, maybe that's why. So, see it hits the limit there. Uh, but it comes pretty close to teeth. Once you run power through it, maybe it doesn't even get that close. But keep in mind, you would also be setting your endpoints, so you 
more than likely wouldn't be getting to that point. So at this point, uh, I'm just gonna make sure everything is greased just a little more. And it's, it's a light film of grease. You don't need to overdo this. And then I'm just going to run it to expose this back area. And then I can just put some grease there. And that is all. So at this point, I can go ahead and grab the top part of the servo. And I can go ahead and put everything together. Once you put everything together, uh, then you're ready to install. Now, I do recommend that you put power through the servo before you put this top part on, just to make sure that everything sat properly. Uh, if you do not and you build everything, well, hopefully uh, you did it right on the first time. If not, you're going to end up opening this up. But this is how you replace the gears on a Savox high voltage SV1254MG. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please comment below, subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,